Nothing about Tesla's approach to running a car company is conventional, so it should come as no surprise that its approach to interior design in the new Model 3 is wildly unconventional. The California-based automaker has designed an electric car with impressive range at an attainable price. If you don't check too many option boxes, but did it cut any corners inside the cabin for affordability's sake? Find out below in an exclusive in-depth video showcasing the Tesla Model 3's interior. Motor Trend Testing Director Kim Reynolds got an exclusive first drive of the Model 3 last month in Tesla Chief Designer Franz von Helsausen's personal Model 3. During their drive together, the design boss walked him through several of the features unique to the Model 3, many of which dispute the conventional wisdom of interior design. We first get a look at the Model 3's central landscape-oriented, 15.0-inch multi-touch screen, which replaces a traditional gauge cluster. This display is the hero of the interior, Von Hulzawson says. It handles the vast majority of the Model 3's user input. Everything from vehicle settings to seat adjustments is accessed through this iPad-like screen. We can see the drive mode selected in the upper left corner of the screen, and below that is a top-down view of the car showing which doors are open. Toward the bottom, we find media controls with a favorite section that can be swiped up to quickly access your go-to apps or stations. Below that, we have HVAC controls, windshield defroster buttons for both front and rear, the vehicle settings menu, and more. The whole display is very reminiscent of a layout you'd find on an Apple product. In a world where cars on sale today have as many as five stocks surrounding the steering wheel, Tesla's choice to use only two stocks is refreshing. The Model 3's right stock selects the gear and activates the cruise control by pushing down twice. The left stock controls the Model 3's indicators, wipers, and high beams. The only other controls in the Model 3 are two configurable thumb wheels at 9 o'clock and 3 o'clock on the steering wheel. These little wheels can be assigned to a number of functions via the central screen, including telescoping, raising, and lowering the steering wheel and adjusting the Tesla's mirrors. This allows drivers to achieve an optimal driving position without having to take their hands off the wheel, and it also reduces the number of buttons and stocks needed in the cockpit. Further, the Model 3 has disguised air vents. Von Hulzawson says he believes air vents in other vehicles felt prominent and excessive. One large opening spanning the length of the dashboard allows jets of air to cool or warm passengers. As the design chief demonstrates in the video, occupants can change the direction of airflow by moving a touchpad on the center screen. Von Hulzawson says this unconventional ventilation system makes the whole air delivery system effortless. The Model 3 smartphone integration is second to none. The area beneath the touchscreen houses twin lightning ports and snugly fits two iPhones. The design allows two phones to charge simultaneously. When charging, the phones are perfectly angled toward the driver and passenger. In the video, Von Hulzawson whips out his iPhone 7 Plus and has it plugged in and charging in under three seconds. No fiddling with cables here. Presumably, the Model 3 will be able to accommodate the next-generation iPhone. As we previously reported, Tesla is said to be considering launching its own streaming music service similar to Spotify or Apple Music. If it happens, Tesla would likely offer this service in its vehicles, including the Model 3, which comes standard with LTE connectivity. The decision to create a cabin that challenges the conventions of interior design not only demonstrates Tesla's capabilities but also puts other automakers on notice. The coming months will be telling for the future of Tesla as it attempts to ramp up production to accommodate demand for the Model 3.